Tell me, on. Gary, about the <laughs> correlations of Gary Schilling, which I'm going to get is the debt buildup in emerging markets and the Trumpian debt buildup in America. Am I right? Yeah, yeah, right. And particularly emerging markets because they really feasted on debt after <clears throat> after the Great Recession. It was probably readily available. Uh, banks, uh, investors were throwing money at them and countries like Turkey said, hey, that's the way we're going to build our economy. The only problem is that a lot of that debt was denominated in dollars and other hard currencies and now with the dollar strengthening, it makes it much more difficult for them to service their debts. Now, of course, so far you've got Turkey, Argentina, uh, maybe South Africa, but the question is, do you, will we see contagion there? Will we see anything like we saw in the late 90s? I think that's the question right now, whether this is going to mm -hmm. spread. Right. So, uh, Gary, what's the answer? Is it going to spread? Are we going to see contagion? I, I think, that, uh, Francine, I think the jury is out on that. I, I, I feel, I, I think there is a, certainly a risk of that, but even if there is, uh, and you know, I'm not known for being an <laughs> all-out bull on, everything, on anything except bonds, uh, treasuries. But if you look back in the late 90s, when it started in Thailand in 1998 and then spread throughout Asia and, and to Latin America, finally to Russia, it didn't take the whole economies of the world down. Now, we did have a mild recession in 2001, but at the same time, you'd had a collapse in the dot-com stocks and the Fed had tightened right. somewhat. So you can't really even blame that on the, uh, on the emerging market uh, crisis. Today, there's a lot of vulnerability in the world. Obviously, there always is, but um, I, I don't think for now you'd really say this thing is a, a, global, a global economy killer.